Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane, for I bring good news. Oh, Doctor, what a night. We lost two more patients. Nurse Scow said she couldn't take it anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a... Good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention to his needs. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy? Yes. Yes, Doctor? I know how Doctor to extract Reed one. Has just returned from the front. <laughs> he served King and Country and will be joining us here at Pembroke. We're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent, and one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good <laughs> news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. <sighs> Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have, but what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, well, just ask. I guess I'll go take a look around. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Doctor Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. The frick. Rotten or crusty, each heart contains the seeds of life. Drink at this river, dry it all. Oh, come on, you bastard! I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. We got to spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. It's blood quality. The blood quality indicates how much XP you can obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. To drink blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them and lead them out of sight of others. Your mesmerized level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. Press left upward to mesmerize him. Come on, Mr. Clay. Press A to embrace or release him. Embracing will provide a massive XP boost, but be aware there will be consequences. Learning more about the citizen and collecting their hints will increase their experience gained. Okay. You're free to go, sir. Not on purpose, at least. This is a pacifist room. We are not going to be draining the citizens. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Yeah, I'm sorry. Kinda. Yes, yes, you do. Whoa, I feel <laughs> giddy. See what? Else to it. Did I black out? What? What happened? Whoa, I feel giddy. It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter right. can run for long. Anything else over here for me to loot? Loot, 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 loot. The 
hospital. Whatever happened to that wing, I have no idea. But not my concern. Well. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary <sighs> bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. Well, he was also can't even eat him if I want to. Your future. But you're healthy. You know, That's the good thing. Eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the uh, most helpful yeah, and dedicated nurse Success. I've ever worked with. Era. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah, yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. It's more than... Don't be... Tippets. It's the Tippets. What can you tell me? Tippets. Oh, Tippets. Tell me more. Nurse, you I'll go... Goodbye, Dr. Tippets. Okay. Your city needs you. Every life saved by efficient medical aid is a blown struck out at the heart of the flu epidemic. Volunteers make the difference. Inquire at the nearest appointment. Inquire at the nearest appointments office of the Ministry of Labor and National Service or write to 15 Kings Way, London. Hello. I'm sorry that these sad and faded walls are all I have to offer as a final resting place. It's locked. More. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. 
I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Chadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear oh. or at least have respect for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. Hmm. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main walk was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Yeah. When we first talked, you, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. That's what Honey's you would daughter, call sir. it. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. So you're ready to die? No, I am not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidan. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, Goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember. And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade. I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. Great. No. But I'm sure One they can short. be useful.
I'll take that. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Tomorrow. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Please show me. Well, it seems course. like we are finally starting to meet a good chunk of people. Maybe we can get some good stuff in the future. Once things start going and flowing, should be able to get a lot done. Shush. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I found a wounded man by the docks. He answers to the name of Clay Cox. He requires urgent medical attention. Already, Already have making my the rounds. Flat. That's the Pembroke spirit. I'll ask our porter Milton to bring him back immediately. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Doctor Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you, Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Doctor Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. If you could point me in the direction Hello. of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but Ooh. I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a Too surgical bad instrument. Broke. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember I may have something for you. Huh. Are you really smuggling that is true. through the hospital? And why not? I've already been attacked by patients, you know, and by gang members willing to steal my money. But you're not defending yourself. You're selling guns to civilians. You keep people alive your own way, Doctor. I offer them another way to protect their health. How is the situation around here? You want to hear the situation is all right? It's fucking awful. We lack everything, and it's getting worse every day. So what do you do exactly in this hospital? Apart from smuggling guns, I mean. I've been an ambulance driver since... too long, I guess. I'll bring sick people here night and day. It's a dirty job, but I get it done. Most of the time. Since you're on the front line, how is the sanitary situation in this vicinity? It's a complete disaster. It's even getting dangerous to enter some streets or buildings. Even the locals attack you. It sounds like things have been a bit rough recently. What's happened? Yesterday I got attacked by the patient I was bringing in. I escaped through the hospital's garden. But I lost my wallet when I was running. You left an infected patient outside the hospital. 
That's incredibly dangerous. Go there yourself if you want, but be careful, Doctor. I'd rather not bring your dead body mm. back. Milton's shotgun. I'm going to need some of these pieces here. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. A reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Spend more time talking to some other people in a bit. Need to get a proper saving point. Dr. Swansea is right. This place After seems course, perfect to conduct the research. Ah, perfect. I will be using that. That so now it's I definitely can away from prime treatments for the cold bronchitis. Relegated to the shadows. And all of those. A kingdom of my own. Thanks. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. Blood. I can now make a light regeneration serum with uh, some things that I don't have. Blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. So, I must keep on searching. We are going to be requiring is about to rise. another common handle. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. Now. This is going to give me grease and strings and screws. Perfect. Triggers for that. And not enough tiny handles for that. Gotta get as much stuff as I can before nightfall. Article on Ekans. This, it is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire, to observe their intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires. For Ekin, as they prefer to call themselves, Supernatural speed. A vampire can act 
and move like a mortal in all his actions, but a trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, al alarm, surprise, necessity to flee, I have seen a vampire move so quickly that it's almost as if they vanish just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but it is not a teleport or dematerialization. It's only a supernatural speed. For me, it's a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, jump longer and faster than us. I also notice that m such speed seems to exhaust them, and they are bound to physical limitations. Mesmerism. One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call the trait mesmerism. But it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more I subject ties to resist, the more permanently the damage will be. As if the vampire literally fractured their target's psyche. The same vampire explained to me that his ability required time to master, and that the result could vary widely, can vary widely from subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one, the possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood awareness. They may be the most... This may be the most catastrophic ability of all concerning vampires since they cause... <clears throat> since they cause so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires carve, crave for blood. They must use their will to restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function, to express their full supernatural traits. A famished vampire can be very weak, even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst. This urge this need for blood may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire confessed to me that blood sometimes blind him. Since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong, when he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around him, inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean or blood or is ill, and that is, in some cases, can be, he can even sense diseases and affected clothes, or even items in the room. If this is true, it can have many medical applications. It almost beggars belief. Alright, now to allocate some nice, tasty points. I'm gonna need some points into my physical the prowess. It needs water. Body's condition, gonna need more health. Although, I'm going to have to limit myself, because I'm going to need the ability to get more blood. And that should be it, as far as being able to level up anything. Although, I would have loved to get this ability. It is... Necessary.
the following night. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete, I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. But what about my thirst for blood? Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... Sorry. There's nothing here. Some of the patients won't last the night without them. Honestly, sir, I'm beside myself. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Oh, Where is right. this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because this seems see like a generally good spot to end it off here. Back entrance at the end of a narrow street. A good the long time the recorded. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Please do tell me what you guys think of this game so far. Uh, I apologize if I'm not talking a lot. I do want to get as much of the dialogue in as possible, and I want to try to at least read off as much as I can of these notes and stuff so I can get a better idea of what I'm getting into. I really enjoy getting to know some of the stuff in this game as far as lore and everything goes, and I want to try to give you guys as much information about the game as possible. So, as far as things go, I'm going to be trying to play through the entire game and try to find as much as I can, get as much of the dialogue unlocked, and see how far I can get things. Along with it, I'm also going to probably be trying not to train anyone because um, of consequences and just... It, it makes the game a little more interesting not having the ability to do as you please in this game which is probably one of the biggest key features of the game that I enjoy. You can play the game and drain everyone, but you can also play the game and not drain another person without unnecessarily having to, unless the story drives you to have to. That's one of the big things I like about this, and I'm going to be doing a pacifist run, which is technically hard mode for this game. It shouldn't be too difficult. I might have to spend some time offline farming and getting gear, getting levels and stuff like that. I may even go to the extent of possibly even streaming some of the like grinding just to have the content up there for you guys to enjoy. So we'll see how that all goes. Um, and don't forget to tell me what you guys think. If you think I should stream, if you don't think I should stream, should just do everything offline and stuff like that, and then record the main story. I'm probably going to try to do some of the... A, a good chunk of the side missions, as far as I can do. And I do need to get leveled so I can possibly get through some of the stuff. The side missions are not as important to me as far as the main story, so I may even go to the extent of possibly doing side missions offline with the stream, possibly. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.